on that point, Governor Pence, recently the New York Times released part of Mr. Trump's 1995 tax return and reported that he could have avoided paying federal income taxes for years. Yesterday, Mr. Trump said he brilliantly used the laws to pay as little tax as legally possible. Does that seem fair to you? Well, well, first, let me let me say I, I, I appreciated the you're hired, you're fired thing. Uh, Senator, you use that a whole lot. And, and I think your running mate used a lot of pre-done lines. I, look, what what you all just heard out there is more taxes, two trillion dollars in more spending, more deficits, more debt, more government. And if you think that's all working, then you look at the other side of the table. I mean, the truth of the matter is the policies of this administration, which Hillary Clinton and Senator King want to continue, have run this economy into a ditch. We're, we're in the, we're in the slowest economic recovery since the Great Depression. Fifteen Governor, million there are list. millions more people living in poverty today than the day that Barack Obama, with Hillary Clinton at his side, and the poverty stepped level into the Oval and the median income we have the lowest improved level. dramatically you, look, between you, 2014 and 2015. You, you, I, honestly, Senator, you can roll out the numbers and the, and the sunny side, but I got to tell you, people in Scranton, no different. People in Fort Wayne, Indiana, no different. I mean, this economy is struggling. And the answer to this economy is not more taxes. But it's not uh, it's to not give away tax relief spending. to the folks at the top. And, and so I, 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 I am interested Governor, to hearing whether he'll defend his running mates not releasing taxes yeah, and not paying taxes. I will. Governor, well, I mean, with all due respect, the uh, question was about whether it seems fair to you that Mr. Trump said he brilliantly used the laws to pay as little tax as legally possible. Well, this is probably the difference between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and Senator Kane. I mean, I mean, Hillary Clinton and Senator Kane, and, and, and God bless you for it, career public servants, that's great. Donald Trump is a businessman, not a career politician. He actually built a business. Those tax returns that, were, that came out publicly this week showed that he, he faced some pretty tough times 20 years ago. But like virtually every other business, including the New York Times not too long ago, he used what's called net operating loss. We have a tax code, Senator, that actually is designed to encourage entrepreneurship. But why won't he release his tax return? Well, we're answering the question about about uh, the business thing. Is he, I, I do his, want to come his back tax on this, return, but... His tax return that showed he went through a very difficult time, but he used the tax code just the way it's supposed to be used, and he did it brilliantly. How do you know he that? You haven't seen his tax way Because he's created a business that's worth billions of dollars today. How do you know that? And with regard to paying taxes, this whole riff about not paying taxes and people saying he didn't pay taxes for years. Donald Trump has created tens of thousands of jobs, and he's paid payroll Alain, taxes, let me talk sales about taxes, uh, Senator, I'm going to give you about 30 okay. seconds to the respond, and I have a question on Hillary social security. Okay, is going to raise taxes, and Governor, Donald Trump and I are going to cut Donald Trump started this campaign in 2014. He said, if I run for president, I will absolutely release my taxes. He's broken and his he first will. He's broken his first promise. Second, he stood on he the stage last week. He promise. He, said he, he stood on the stage last week, and when Hillary said you haven't been paying taxes, he said, that makes me smart. So it's smart not to pay for our military. It's smart not to pay for veterans. It's smart not to pay for teachers. And I guess all of us who do pay for those things, I guess we're stupid. And the last thing I'll say Senator, is this. Senator, do you take the, the all the deductions thing, that you're entitled the, to? The last thing I want to ask Governor Pence is I do. This. Governor Pence had to give Donald Trump his tax returns to show he was qualified to be vice president. Donald Trump must give the American public his tax returns to show that he's qualified to be president, uh, uh, and yeah. he's breaking his promise. Elaine, I have to respond to this. You get I mean, very little yeah, time. I'll, 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 be, I'll, be, I'll be very respectful. Governor. Look, Donald Trump has filed over 100 pages of financial disclosure, which is what the law requires. But he said he and would release his tax returns. The American people can review that, and he's going, Senator, All right, he's gentlemen, going to release his I need tax to ask returns you about when the audit social security. is over. R Rich the Richard the Nixon released about, tax returns when he was under audit. They're going to raise your tax Gentlemen, if you can't meet the Nixon the standard, the people at home cannot understand have some... either one of you when you speak over each other. I would please ask you to wait until it is that the other is finished. All right, Senator we're having Kane, fun up here. On the issue of